Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive out here on the range today. I wanna to talk to you about some of the mistakes that we see all the time with the grip, gripping that gun. Because you can take a course, they can give you some cool drills, but if you don't have a good grip on that gun, you're gonna get crappy results. A lot of complaints about, oh, it's, it, I always shoot to the left, or I always shoot low, or you know, when you start going fast. Well, proper grip will help alleviate a lot of those things. And honestly, the grip is for that second shot. You know, taking that first shot, great. But if your grip falls apart, you know, and, and you have to rebuild it every time, you're gonna be slow, okay? That timer's gonna show you some, you know, give you some grief, okay? So I'll go over the things that we see and the corrections that, uh, that we apply. And we've gotten good results over the last 10 years or so. Okay, so first things first, well, I'm gonna take my watch off so you can see what, uh, see what I'm doing here. I don't like to do it, but uh, anyway. Watch goes away. And we're gonna start off with stance. Stance is good. You know, we've talked about stance before, good solid stance. Now we're all about the grip. So I'm gonna bring up here, again, nice high grip, and then this thumb has to come all the way up and point along there. So I, I can use it for point shooting, but it's also gonna be, so it's in the same spot every time, I can find my, my sights if I need them. You know, you're always gonna wanna use your sights if you have time, right? So now, for that first shot, I mean, I can hold it up here. As long as I line the sights up and add pressure, I'm gonna hit that target. Okay, but you see what's happening to the gun, it's flopping all over the place, right? So the idea behind that grip is to keep that locked down. So we want no gaps in here, okay? Front and back pressure with this hand, and this, the support hand comes up and you lock it in. So that right in here, there's no gaps, and I'm actually pressing in on the, the, the frame of the weapon this way and pushing back with the base of this thumb. I don't want to grip with this thumb, because if I grip with the, the tip of that thumb, it wants to fire these at the same time, and that tends to throw your shots left and low left for right-handed people. Okay, so we're locked in like that, and when I take that shot, my shot, everything stays pretty much where it's supposed to be. Now, another thing, once you got that grip, that's fine, but if this hand is loose, and it flops like this, okay, so this one's good and locked, and when I squeeze, see what happened there? Okay, so it's, it's breaking my grip, because I'm allowing this one to come back when this one's locked out. It's gonna feel like your support hand is jumping forward, but that's not what's happening. What's happening is this is, is loose, so it's allowing the gun to come back, and it just breaks that grip apart. So by locking everything in, giving that good little twist, we're pushing in this way. Not so much that your elbows flare out like this, but just like you're wringing a towel. And if I wring that towel, and then if, if I grip here, and I can feel these tendons sticking out. That's what we want, nice and like stiff. Where Lock that in. Now, when I do that, The weapon doesn't flop around, the sights are falling right back on the target after every shot, and I can reassess and add pressure as needed. Okay, so there's your idea, right? This hand's locked in, this wrist is locked, it's forward, it's constant, okay? And you're gonna put a little bit of pressure inwards like this. This hand, the strong hand, has got you know, just that so you can feel those tendons popping, right? And then you're just gonna wring that towel to get that, we call a cinch grip. And that locks everything down, so when you squeeze that trigger, boom, it's gonna drop right back on target. All the other fundamentals have to come into play. Your stance, your like slight lean forward, all those things we've talked about before. But just in that grip, making sure that the, the, the heels of the hands are sealed up and there's pressure there, that's what's gonna get you there. As always, if you like this content, like, subscribe, leave me some comments.